What is up Zombie Nation? Welcome back to your daily dose of zombie news, zombie information and everything you need to know about zombies. This is your host Dame and let's get straight into that video. Okay guys, first let me kick this off. I'm asking for that like goal once again. I'm trying to hit 115 likes. If you guys could hit 115 likes, you're absolutely awesome. Such an amazing, amazing person. Again, if you could share this video with your friends, your dog, your budgie, damn, share it with your next door neighbour. I don't care, just share this video. And if you're new around here and you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe don't forget guys if you haven't checked out my last video it's been a double upload today so far so my last video is in the description if you want to go and check that out i'll show you how to upgrade the little arnies i'll show you about a secret blue max ammo that you can pick up and a brand new op helmet yes op helmet 50 percent more damage i mean the best helmet in the game so far so if you want to find out about those links are in the description annotations are on the screen Go and check them out, go and leave a like. But without further ado, let's get straight into that news. Okay guys, so the first story today is coming by the user of Pytrex. It's like Pyrex, but with the T. He has posted up an image of the boss battle arena in Revelations. Yes, this guy went into theatre mode. He managed to no-clip out the map a little bit. And he's actually found a boss fight arena, or what we assume to be the boss fight arena. I can't imagine it being anything else. It's not the biggest, biggest news as we are eventually going to be able to get into the boss arena. So we're all going to know what it looks like eventually. But it's really cool that we know what it looks like right now. Because as we know, we're on 48 hours so far. And we've still not completed or even basically touched the main easter egg yet. It's very, very difficult. So guys, hope you enjoy that picture. His links will be in the description below. So you can go and check out the original post if you want to. But nonetheless, a pretty cool find there. Also in the news, the summoning key that is floating in the air in Revelations. Or what everybody believes to be the summoning key. Everybody is shooting this small little sphere in the sky at the minute they're shooting it with the puff servants the thunder gun any type of pack a punch weapon they can get their hands on well a user by the name of a blitz 202 claims that the ball is just the center of the map you guys may be thinking center of the map i don't understand what you mean well when developers are actually creating a game they put small objects within the game that helps them tell where the center of the map is i believe it's called the x y z axis it helps them locate certain parts of the map there are also other people saying it's something to do with reflections on the map either way we believe this to be a developer tool and actually nothing to do with the easter egg itself there is a close-up on screen now so you can actually see the ball up close and you can clearly see that it is not the summoning key it is just like a round very reflective sphere with some sort of reflection on it people really believe that this is not anything to do with the easter egg so i don't know if you guys are spending a lot of time on this but i suggest you put your efforts elsewhere at the minute this is believed to be just something a part of the developers that they've put into the game just to help them create the map and line things up but i guess time will tell because if it is a mistake it will not be staying there for long i expect there will be an update very very soon where it is removed and if it is not removed within the next couple of updates then maybe it has something to do with the game and everybody is actually wrong that it is xyz access tool but there are a lot of people saying exactly the same thing me myself i'm not a game developer and i do not use these types of things as i don't 3d model anything but there are people within the chat section that actually use these tools within their own projects that they use and they are confirming that it is just a developer's tool and i mean i'm going with the majority here there's a lot more people saying it is part of a tool than there is people saying it is the summoning key you can blatantly see it's not the summoning key but i really thought i'd bring in this little bit of information so you guys didn't waste any more time on that ball again i could be proved wrong in the future who knows i am just going off the majority of what everybody else is saying for this and i also do believe really that this is just part of a developer's tool that they use to create the map the last story for this particular video not today i'm pretty sure we're going for it. it's a triple i'm pretty sure we're going for free uploads today i will see how my upload speeds and my rendering times how long they take but a user by the name of ewin mc actually shot the banshee near the teleporter and he actually managed to light up one of the lights on the teleporter. Now the most important bit of information on this, I believe the Banshee itself is a tiny bit of a glitch. The fact that it actually lights up the teleporter is somewhat of a glitch, but here is the important bit. If that particular section lights up purple, then we know that that teleporter is active and there is a way to turn it on. As of where the teleporter actually leads us, who knows, it could lead us to Samantha's room. And if you wanna know why I believe it leads us to Samantha's room, 
wait for the next video because we've been inside Samantha's room and there is some very very interesting stuff within that room or it could indeed teleport us to the boss fight arena which I have also posted in one of my videos lately you can also check that out nobody really knows where this teleporter takes us but this tiny photo right here does prove that that teleporter will be lighting up it will be firing up somehow there is a way to get it going so guys focus your efforts on this teleporter we want to know how to actually do it everybody believes right now that this is just a lighting glitch with the banshee but who knows we don't know exactly what he done we just know he was firing the banshee around the teleporter at the time of the actual light lighting up and that is all the stories for this video guys if you've got any questions about anything that i've spoke about in today's video please make sure to leave them in the comment box below and as always if you did enjoy the video please make sure to hit that like rating we always try to hit that 115 like goal why because it's an iconic number we love the 115 like goal so we're going to hit that 115 like goal if you could also share this video with your friends that would also be awesome subscribe if you are not subscribed around here already i'm working on a ton of uploads today guys i missed out on yesterday so i will be making up for lost time today i have got a hell of a lot of stories to bring to you there is just so many i cannot put them all in one or two videos there's going to be like four or five videos because there's so so much news and again guys like i said in the last video i'm looking for a little bit of revelations gameplay if you have any revelations gameplay from playstation 4 that you can share please let me know on my twitter at damon at game or in the comment section below that would be absolutely awesome but this has been your daily host for zombie news zombie information and everything you need to know about zombies this is your host dame and we are at 37,760 subscribers. Yes.